Hey, this goes out to all of you firearms instructors out there, and thanks for joining me today for Student of the Gun Homeroom. Stop shooting your students. What? Yeah, stop shooting your students. Stop using live guns in a classroom environment when they don't need to be there. Well, what are you talking about, Paul? You know, sometimes you have to have a gun in the classroom. It's 2015 while I'm recording this. There are so many different kinds of trainers and dummies and replica guns that there really is no need to introduce a live firearm into a classroom environment unless you're cheap, okay? We've got your, your plastic dummy guns, Blackhawk, inexpensive plastic dummy guns. If you're doing holster drills, if you're just showing people how to do a grip and manipulation, use a plastic dummy gun. Rings guns, they're blue, they're yellow, they're green, they're orange, what have you. Buy these, put them in your kit bag, and use them. They say, well, sometimes I have to demonstrate, you know, the reciprocation of a slide or a trigger press. You see this right here? You know what this is? This is an airsoft gun that I picked up at a gun show for 20 bucks. Yeah, $20. It has a magazine you can remove. It has a trigger that works like a regular trigger. It has a reciprocating slide. I can show people everything they need to know about a live gun with this $20 airsoft gun in a classroom without having to worry about introducing a live gun into that environment. Now, if you really want to get Ninja, you can get the replicas like this 17R from Glock, and this is a 100% representation of a 17, uh, Glock 17, but it doesn't have a firing pin in it, and it also chambers your training rounds. The only thing that this gun has, does not have, that a regular gun does, is it does not have a firing pin. So even if you were to introduce live ammo into this, it couldn't go bang because it has no firing pin. Now, yes, I'll admit that these are rather expensive. They're not cheap, but they're good training tools. Uh, they have, this is the resetting trigger version, so you can do trigger presses, uh, all that good stuff with this gun right here. How about a non-firing or a non-reciprocating gun? This is the CERT pistol, and it has the trigger set laser, and then it has a laser that's aligned with a bore. This is a good option for trigger press training and dry fire training. It's the CERT. Uh, these kind of fall in the middle. They're, these are way less expensive and they have a removable magazine. These are way less expensive than the 17R, uh, but they're obviously a lot more expensive than a dummy gun or an airsoft gun. My point is this, and of course my voice just cracked because I am going through puberty, but my point is this. In 2015, there is no reason that as a firearm instructor, you need to introduce a live gun into a classroom training environment. You don't need to do it, stop doing it. Every time I see a news report about, you know, a police officer, a cadet, a trooper, somebody shot during a training class, it's ridiculous, there's no reason to do it. So stop yourself, spend the money, buy a dummy gun, buy a replica gun, and keep your students safe, stop shooting them. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Student of the Gun Homeroom. Make sure that you're listening to the radio show each and every week, watching the TV show, and that you download the mobile app. Hey, it's free, right? You can get it at the Google Play Store or your iTunes Store. And please, leave your comments below.